everyone and welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing well and in today's video i'm going to b&m it's my first ever little b&m trip come shop with me haul b&m is like one of my favorite places to go love having a little trip every so often to b&m just to have a bit of a snoop around i've literally just got back so i'm going to insert the clips that i got whilst i was there and then i'll report back to show you the bits and bobs that i got um i only got a few little things but i did show you a lot what was there I just picked up some cute little bits and bo bits. I just picked up a few little bits and bobs and snacks. You know how it is. If you haven't already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. But without further ado, let's get into B and M. And here we are in B and M. We made it. This is the first aisle that you walk into. The little random snacks aisle. As you can see, the first thing that caught my eye is the Biscoff biscuits. They're great. If you haven't tried them, you need to. Loads of random things in the first aisle like popcorn, Kit Kats, cereal, tea, coffee. But who knew that B&M did the skinny syrups now? I've been wanting to try these for ages but there was a very limited selection at my B&M so not too sure if other B&Ms have more but they also had them skinny cookies up there which I was quite intrigued about. But £1.99 is quite a good price for them sauces and as you can tell this dairy milk caught my attention. any sauce you can think of B&M probably did it look at this saucy sauce it's mayo and ketchup I didn't even know that was a real thing but apparently it is and who knew Heinz did a curry sauce I also want to try that and then we move on to the alcohol aisle which I was very well behaved and walked straight past but as you can see there was quite a selection of alcohol and these ciders down here look very nice some noodles, plenty of selection. I was really intrigued by them konjac noodles. I've heard of them before and for a pound I thought that was really good. This is one of my favourite aisles in B&M. The part where the skinny whips, fibre one bars, things like this. If you can tell by the clip, I was dawdling in this aisle because I just did not know which ones to get. They're all really nice but I did end up going for the mint ones. But as you can tell, they're a pound, so so good. Another great aisle is the biscuit aisle, loads of biscoff, then Maltese chocolate bars, jammy dodgers in loads of different flavours. There wasn't much in the cakes aisle as you can tell, the shelves were pretty empty but look at these nutty buns, they look really nice but I resisted. They always have such a selection of gins as well, £15 for Gordon's gin I thought was quite good and then ones down there. Loads of different flavours like the unicorn flavours, the bottles just looked really cute. This is the new in Australian chocolate, sorry about this clip. £1.30, look how small the bar is but it did sound really nice so as you'll be able to see I did pick myself one up. A great selection of Milka chocolate bars as well and look at this Hershey's bar, sprinkles and cream, that looked really nice as well just more chocolate here's the sweets aisle this chocolate barbecue caught my attention how cool does that look three pound as well what a bargain I tried to look for the new Haribo sweets the limited edition ones but unfortunately they weren't in mine A variety of air fresheners um, for Breeze and they had a lot of that fabulosa stuff for you Mrs Hinch people. Look at the range of shower gels. I don't know why I always just enjoy looking at the range of shower gels when I go shopping. A little bit sad, I know. Now for homeware, as you can see they did loads of these storage seats which I think are great for cleaning up your room having somewhere to put stuff love these storage wicker baskets i just don't think they would have gone with my room but i really like those and when you turn around look at all of these it's like box heaven and here's me panicking because i dropped my chocolate bar <laughs> I honestly never knew that B&M had such a selection of candles and wax melts as you will see throughout this video there is a lot 
I was actually super impressed with the homeware this time. Look how full the shelves are. They must have just restocked or something, but they had everything for every interior theme you may have. I was loving this little jungle theme they had going on. I feel like it looks a lot more expensive than it actually is. Loads of fake plants as well, which I thought were really nice. Here's me discovering that there's a basket left abandoned on the floor. So I was soon to get that because I was struggling holding all of my items. I got next home vibes from these little beer things. They had them in last year, I believe, and they're very, very similar. If you're after a new wax burner as well, get yourself to B&M. They were so, so cheap. The pink things were so cute that they had in there. Look at this selection of fake plants. They came in really nice pots and as you can tell, there was loads of different colours. I did like that one in the wicker basket. This is the more mature aisle where the packaging is a little bit more basic, but these woodwick candles look so nice. They had such a selection of them as well. Loads of tea lights. Honestly, whatever candle you can imagine, it's probably in B&M. The range of stuff here smell absolutely amazing. I didn't know which one to get. I think the wax melts were only like £1.50 as well, which is so good. More plants. Look at the selection of fake plants. They look so much more expensive than they actually were as well. Here's another look at the wood wick candles as well. I just think they look so nice. Can't believe how cheap they were. They had such a huge range of cushions as well. b &M had a lot of yellow things when I went, so I feel like that must be the new interior colour, a bit of yellow. They had some gorgeous grey things in as well, the cushions and little blankets. The pink aisle was just amazing. It really tempted me to incorporate a little bit of pink in my room. Just look at how many blush pink things there are. Love it. I couldn't believe the choice of bedding that they had there. And look at the price tag on it as well. You literally cannot go wrong. Loving these side tables as well. If I had somewhere to put one of these, definitely would have got one. And here we are. Here's the bag of pointless things that I spent my money on. And I'm going to show you what I got. Starting with this. This isn't actually mine, but I basically forced my mum to pick it up because I just love these candles. So it's one of the ones with the wood wicks in. This is obviously a copy of wood, what are they called? You know, the designer ones, they're like £30 a candle. £5, so you can't really go wrong. And they've got like a little wood top. I didn't get one just because it doesn't go with the theme of my room, which is a real shame. If they did it in grey, it would have been great. Um, but as you can see, it's got the wood wick. Oh, it smells so, so nice. So I think when this burns, it makes like a crackling noise, which I just think is so cool. The scent that we got is vanilla and amber wood, and it is just unreal. Apparently it's new and improved, so get yourselves down to B&M. They did so many different ones, the ones with like the gradient in and whatnot, but we got this one because it smells so nice. I love anything like vanilla scented. You can't go to B&M and not pick up something like a candle or something scented. Unwritten rule. And then sticking on the theme of candles and things like that, I got a little, oh no, he's got a mark on, oil burner. I feel like you'll probably either really like this or really not like it. I personally think he's really cool. Like a little outline of a face. I got the white one, but they did also do it in grey for three pounds what a bargain i've been looking for a nice wax burner for the longest time ever and i couldn't find any so i bought this one here this was from etsy and it was like 15 pounds she only seen the same one in b m so she's been scammed so if you do want any wax burners or whatnot go to b m because they've got loads of really nice ones and i can't believe this was just three pounds 
So I thought I'd put that on my shelf up there just to switch things up a little bit. I'm really enjoying wax burners at the minute. Like I've got a strange obsession with them. I feel like they smell stronger than candles. Really enjoying them. And I just think this little guy is quite quirky. They did so many wax melts in there. I've never even noticed that B&M does such a variety. So I didn't really know which ones to get, but I got these because I thought they looked quite snazz. Couldn't leave without picking at least one up. I'm sure these were a pound, so super cheap. Rainbow Drops Peach Flavor. Now I'm actually gonna open these, see what they smell like. Oh my God. Oh, I wish I picked more up now. That is such a summery smell. That smells like summer. So this can be added to my little collection. I quite like the packaging as well. What a bargain, a pound, and they smell really strong actually. A bit random, but I thought I'd show you anyway. Deodorant, obviously it's essential. Everyone needs deodorant. I was running out, so I thought I'd try this one, which is, <laughs> this is one that I've never tried before. So we'll see what it's like. It's Dove, so I'm not too sure. I've never actually used Dove deodorants, but I just quite like the packaging of this. I'm not gonna lie. Pomegranate and lemon for burn scent. Apparently it's got 0% alcohol in and it's got moisturizing cream in it. So we'll see if this leaves any marks. Hopefully not. Deodorant. So the best things about B&M is obviously the little homeware bits that they get in and snacks. The snacks that they do are top tier. They're like snacks that you don't really get anywhere else or they just do them for a lot cheaper. So I love having a good browse through the snack section. So I did get mostly snacks. The rest of the video is food related. These I'm very intrigued about. Um, I don't know whether they're gonna be really nice or horrible i just thought they looked quite snazzy so we've got some millions bites cream filled mini biscuits i just thought these would be nice for a little treat a little snacky snack as a kid i used to be absolutely obsessed with the bubblegum flavor um i still do enjoy a bit of bubblegum now and then but i used to get like the milkshakes and stuff in this flavor so i'm very intrigued should we taste test i might as well just give you a little taste test because you probably want to know do you? Do you want to know? I want to know. So this has turned into a snack taste test video. I'm not mad about it, I won't lie. We'll try the strawberry flavour. Oh my god, the packs are so small. I've never seen these anywhere else. Look at them. <laughs> They're kind of cute. Taste test time. Okay, they're actually really nice. That's dangerous. They are going to be a great snack. Get yourself to be an M. I'll just leave the half eaten pack there. I'll finish that another day. And then I got this. I think I did film a clip of the section that this was in, but I'm pretty sure it was Australian snacks or something that was around it. On that day, I seen someone on Instagram put this whole thing in their porridge and it just looked amazing. I will not put the whole thing in the porridge. I think I'll probably just put like a tiny, tiny bit in. White chocolate is my favourite chocolate. So this is... Um, called Milky Bar Will with a swirl of milk chocolate. Now this was expensive, but I really wanted to try it. Um, I'm sure it's like one pound thirty or something for this. I really wanted to try it, so I just got it. I won't be taste testing this because I don't want to waste it. But I'll report back. I'll put something in the description if I do try it. Then I got some of these because if you're calorie counting, these are so so low, and I just love these as a snack in summer. I didn't realise they were so low calorie and I love a bit of tango. I thought these would be a very nice treat. We've got orange, apple, cherry, and blue raspberry flavor. 14 calories for each one. These were like 50p or something really, really cheap. I've been looking for this for the longest time. Everywhere I go, it's stupidly priced. It's a ratchet sauce. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna like it, but I've seen so many people put it on like their avocado on toast, like chicken and things. So I thought I really need to try it. I am quite good with spice, so I feel like it would be okay. This is the um, proper Mayflower one. I think it's like £1.50 or something. It's a really big bottle. I don't think you're supposed to keep it for long though after opening it. Do you keep it open longer than it should be? Let me know. Hot chilli sauce gonna see how it is maybe i'll form some strange addiction to it or absolutely hate it but wanted to try it so i picked it up from b&m sriracha sauce skinny whip bars everyone knows about them these and fiber one bars are like, like the diet snacks they're famous for it i do quite like them obviously they're not as nice as a proper chocolate bar but they're a little bit healthier they're still really high in sugar but 
everyone speaks about these ones i've never actually tried this flavor so this is the mint and dark chocolate one we'll taste test these as well because i'm so intrigued to see if they taste nice if they taste that like after eight then we're on to a winner i'm just gonna have a room of like half eaten food i've got a sunday dinner on the way so i should not be doing this but here we go taste test oh my god they're really chewy but that is after eight they literally taste that like after eight another great snack honestly look at me come through with these healthy healthier snacks that can also go on the side of half eaten food now for these i was really excited when i seen these this is probably my favorite cereal i don't eat it but when i was younger i used to eat it all the time i personally think it's the best cereal so it's the curiously cinnamon cereal bars i thought these would be a great breakfast maybe a bit of fruit on the side as well but even just a snack honestly i just wanted to try them and see what they're like so we'll also taste test them for you of course cereal bars are just so nice you know like the kellogg's ones and rice krispies mm, for chocolate at the bottom they do look like the um kellogg's ones mm, they are nice I'm not sure no they are quite nice there you go another snack idea cinnamon bars if you love cinnamon i'm literally obsessed with anything cinnamon so Obviously, I'm going to like these. Nice. Not bad at all. Hi, so it's been about two, three hours since filming. Hence the reason I look like this and everything's a little bit different. But I did forget to show you one thing. And I feel like I'd be really annoyed if I did miss it out just because I really like it. This is some bedding that I got. If you are lacking in the bedding department, get yourself down to B&M because they've got so many nice bedding. You'll be able to see in the clips but every aisle was colour coordinated. It was really satisfying to look at actually. I got this, there is so many and I think I have tried B&M um, bedding before and from what I remember, it's actually really good. 15 pounds for a double duvet set. This one has like little black tassels hanging off it. I just thought 15 pounds was really good. I don't know if you can see on the picture, but it's like a safari themed kind of thing. So we've got loads of animals on there like flamingos and giraffes, lots of leaves. Um, I just thought that was really nice. Quite summery as well. I don't really go for much colour in my room but this is probably as summery as I'm going to get. And it does feel really good quality. So I thought I would just pop in here to say go to B&M if you're lacking in bedding because £15, where else are you going to get it for £15? Like Thanks, bye. And that is everything that I got from B&M. Just a little mini haul. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please make sure you like, subscribe, comment. If you have any video suggestions, just let me know. But I do love watching these like come shop with me videos and then a haul after, kind of like Marks and Spencer's one that I did. I just really like watching them. I'm not too sure why. Let me know if you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video.